Nemso Indian Defense, Romanish and Kasparov System, 4, C55.NF3CXD46.NXD4. Balanced neither player ever had an advantage. That game was pretty competitive. Both players had an amazing opening. That was an incredible middle game by both players. Opening with the queen's pawn controls the center and usually leads to a more positional development of the pieces. The Indian game begins by controlling the important e4 square with the knight, rather than a pawn. c4 builds a strong center by controlling the important d5 square and creates a square for the knight to come to c3 without blocking the c-pawn. E6 opens up a line for the dark squared bishop and prepares to castle quickly, while preparing to push a pawn to d5 and recapture with a pawn if captured. And c3 develops the knight to fight for the e4 square and to control d5. In the Nimso Indian defense, bb4 pins the knight on c3, preventing it from moving or protecting e4, and threatens to trade, disrupting white's pawns after bx c3. Nf3 develops the knight defends the d4 pawn and controls the e5 square. c5 takes space in the center, supports the bishop on b4 and attacks the d4 pawn. g3 prepares to fianchetto the light squared bishop to g2, where it will control the center from the long diagonal. cx d4 captures the d4 pawn and attacks the knight on c3. nx d4 recaptures the pawn, controls b5, and opens the h1 8 diagonal. This wins a tempo by threatening a knight and forcing it to move away. The knight is now adequately defended. This is an equal trade. Recaptures. This wins a tempo by threatening a queen and forcing it to move away. This pins a pawn, which restricts its mobility. It is the last book move. The bishop is ready to be developed to an active square. It is excellent. This fianchettos the bishop by placing it on a powerful diagonal. It is good. The opposing knight is kicked by a pawn, and must now move or be captured. It is excellent. This protects the attack knight. It is best. Castling gets the king to a safer square, out of the center of the board, while also developing a rook. Castling kingside tends to be safer because the king is further from the center. It is best. This offers to exchange pieces of equal value. It is best. The knight is now adequately defended. It is good. This develops a piece while also winning a tempo on a knight. It is excellent. This protects the attack knight. It is best. There were worse moves, but also something much better. It is an inaccuracy. This connects the rooks, which helps them coordinate together in the future. It is best. This maintains the balance in material with a good trade. It is excellent. Takes back. It is best. This blocks the attack on a pawn that could have been captured. It is excellent. This develops a rook off its starting square, getting it into the action. It is best. This connects the rooks, which helps them coordinate together in the future. It is excellent. This is not the best. It is an inaccuracy. This moves the bishop to safety. It is best. This captures a bishop and eliminates a threat. It is good. Takes back. It is good. That pawn was free for the taking. It is good. That's what I would have recommended. It is best. This threatens to kick a queen. It is best. This allows the opponent to kick a queen. It is an inaccuracy. This kicks an opposing queen. It is best. This move puts the queen on a safer square. It is best. This defends the attacked pawn. It is good. Very precise. It is best. This misses an opportunity to threaten winning a pawn. It is an inaccuracy. That's not a mistake, but it's not the best move either. It is good. That was a free pawn. It is best. This wins time by threatening a queen and forcing it to move away. It is best. This moves the queen to safety. It is good. This attacks a queen, winning a tempo when it moves away. It is best. 
This protects an underdefended pawn that is under attack. It is best. This wins a tempo by threatening a queen and forcing it to move away. This is the only good move. It is a great move. This move puts the queen on a safer square. It is best. This activates a rook by getting it to the seventh rank and also restricts the opponent's king. It is excellent. The pawn is now adequately defended. It is good. That pawn was free for the taking. This threatens to win a pawn. It is best. Right on target. It is best. This is a fair move. It is good. This allows the knight to control more squares. It is best. This offers to exchange pieces of equal value. It is excellent. After all captures, this is an equal trade. It is best. Recaptures. It is best. This protects the attacked pawn. It is best. That was a free pawn. It is best. This doubles the rooks onto a single file, which allows them to team up to create threats. It is best. This is the strongest option. It is best. That's what I would have recommended. It is best. This places a rook on the seventh rank, activating the rook and restricting the opponent's king. It is best. This protects an underdefended pawn that is under attack. It is best. That's fine. It is good. The rooks can see each other now, allowing them to provide mutual defense. It is good. One of the best moves. It is excellent. This offers to exchange pieces of equal value. It is excellent. This move puts the rook on a safer square. It is excellent. A solid choice. It is excellent. That's not a mistake, but it's not the best move either. It is good. Balanced neither player ever had an advantage. That game was pretty competitive. Both players had an amazing opening. That was an incredible middle game by both players.